Joining us now, former professor Dr. Carol Swain. Uh, Dr. Swain, good morning to you. Now, we hope that something will get unveiled. Um, it looks like the most recent COVID package has about $105 billion for the schools. Uh, what, what are your thoughts as Congress tries to get its act together, and, and will that be enough? Well, first of all, if you look at what world experts are saying, like the American Academy of Pediatricians, uh, the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, experts in the UK, children are not at risk of either contracting or spreading COVID-19. They need to get back to school. There's great risk for them staying at home. It disrupts the family structure, it di disrupts learning, and it hurts the poorest children most of all because they don't have the resources for their parents to hire someone to help them while they work. Yeah, you know, Dr. Swain, obviously children are not at, at as much risk as adults, but there's always still risk of contracting it, and some of the kids have developed uh, some inflammatory conditions. So that, of course, is lingering in the back of some parents' minds. But I want to ask you, you're a former professor, what are your thoughts on how this could potentially be implemented in a school? Is there social distancing? Would that even work? Uh, would kids be able to wear a mask for hours on end during the day? Because some parents have concerns that if they send their kids to school, are those kids really going to get good in-person learning with so many guidelines that the teachers will have to implement in a classroom setting? Again, I go back to what I said earlier. There's plenty of experts out there worldwide saying that children are, more, are not more likely to contract the disease or to spread it. And of course, there will always be children that have pre-existing conditions. They would have to take more precautions. But this whole idea that you have to just totally uh, rearrange a school with the social distancing, requiring uh, small children to wear a mask, it's not supported by the science. Everything we're doing with uh, COVID-19, coronavirus, politics underlies everything. And whether we like it or not, there are people that don't care about the children, they care about the election and they see an opportunity to hurt uh, President Trump by keeping everything shut down. And so whatever is taking place in Congress, it's not about our nation's health. It's not about the children first. It's about political agendas. Unfortunately, that's the way it is in America today. Carol, you've experienced personally and written a book about politics in education. Uh, Senator Tom Cotton introduced a bill recently that would withhold, withhold federal funding for schools that taught this new 1619 project, that that's our real founding. I'm kind of of two minds. Yeah, I want the kids to go back, but government schools have become indoctrination camps. What alternatives do parents have, that, you know, virtually or in person, to avoid things like teaching their kids that 1619 is the real founding of America? I know exactly what you're talking about because I have mixed feelings in the sense that public schools and even private schools, even Christian schools are being ruined. And so there's homeschooling, there are charter schools, there are private schools that are opening up with uh, in-person uh, learning, and they're taking various uh, precautions as they see necessary. But uh, there, are, uh, there are alternatives, and if parents can homeschool, they should, especially in those areas where they are trying to keep children out of school. They have become indoctrination mm -hmm. factories. They teach white kids to hate themselves. They teach black kids to hate whites. They teach them to hate America. That's not going to move us forward. We are destroying our country, and we are indoctrinating our children and the young people yeah. that are going to college and sports teams. They're being told they have to kneel. Well, they're, not Dr. Being, they're being told. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Swain, just to be clear, that, that's an opinion of many parents, uh, but we've got to leave it there for now. Thank you for coming on, and a lot of parents across Thank the you, country uh, concerned about... Uh